Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials couple of days later I am back in this tutorial so today I'll show you this type of brown type or wooden type uh, like a preset or effects in your photographs so I just adding over the levels and preset I made this preset for you guys and I'll provide you that preset download link in my video description so let's get started if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i'm going to the home and i'm finding out the original image which is uh, i downloaded from the pixels.com and you can use that so i'm going to the open options after that just where i downloaded that things uh, this one is the photo I downloaded from pixels.com and open it up. I'm using the Photoshop 2020 so you can use this version or earlier version no matter what version it is. This photo was like that and after adding the preset we'll get that type of effects. So after that pressing Ctrl command J and after that go to the filter camera filter and after that you'll find a small menu over there go to the load settings options and i made the preset the wooden one and load it up so what i have done here let's see just because of you need to explain why i use that type of color and how i use that type of color uh, which setting i used over there and uh, you use in your photography lights according to your composition and lights actually so at first uh, if i go to here the custom option the temperature that is plus three and the tin minus Eight and the exposure plus 25 and uh, like a, a contrast plus 52 and the highlight minus 69 and shadow plus 24 whites plus 1 and the blacks minus 21 that's why you are getting a little bit blackish over there and the texture 0 and the clarity minus 23 and vibrance minus 2 that's why a little bit faded over there this one is the mid-tone you can uh, edit the midtone like that if you want to make it more moody but decolorized but i just made it a little bit minus 22 so actually minus 2 is good for that the saturation that is minus 24 if you increase that things you can get that or you can make it 24 or 25 minus 24 actually so basic done and let's see go to the curves options i locked one two three portion and just turn on or just uh, adjusted that things like that if you can uh, easily do like that just uh, locked up over here and add some grammar and a little, little bit like that okay and let's see the red i didn't touch green and blue i didn't touch other curves and let's see go to the detailing options the sharpening 67 noise detection 31 and all the things are uh, like uh, by default i didn't touch over there just because of if I give the value main value and it will take the automatically value over there. You can customize your own like that. And the colorized noise that is 25. The detailing option done. And now color mixture, most important and vital point for the photo editing. Hue saturation luminance. Hue for that reason, which color will be in your photographs is the hue. And uh, it defines which type of tone you want to get over there so this is the hue options that means in a red portion it starts with the pink and end in an orange in an orange color you just getting over there started from the red and ends in a yellow and yellow started from the orange and ends in a green like that similar like, like that green aqua blue and purple magenta all colors starting point and the ending point you are getting lots of color in between these bar and you have to choose that color which is perfect for your photographs and i just made that color by using my sense and the knowledge and i use the value like that you can change that value according to your photography but i will suggest you to add or like adjust only those portions for your photography purpose otherwise you won't get the proper color over here okay let's see the hue of the red zero and the orange minus 
13, a little bit like a uh, red type orange and the yellow that is minus 60 uh, like orange type yellow and the green plus 62 aqua type in jeans color and other portion you're getting like uh, aqua tone just because of that and the aqua I made it blue type tone and these two things mix up uh, like um, new colors and the blue minus 9 actually and here in a purple and the magenta that is 0 let's go to the saturation saturation is a percentage of the color uh, in this portion in a hue what color you used and saturation you are getting the percentage how many percentage will be the color it will be darker it will be like a lighter or how many deep or the percentage actually the percentage of the color that means um, you are using here the orange or red color and here you are getting the percentage of the color uh, depending on the percentage of the color you are getting the high color or dim color that means uh, it will be deep color or light color okay fine the orange minus 6 desaturated and the yellow minus 26 that's also desaturated green minus 80 desaturated that's why you are getting the moody look over there around the uh, girl aqua that is plus 45 that is the saturated color blue plus 20 uh, 42 actually okay and the luminance intensity of the color you know the intensity how light will be that means intensity you know uh, uh i don't know now which is the better uh, like uh, the intensity means that means uh, like lightening how lightening is this you can like, just get your own like that the word is intensity that means if you get the percentage up you will get more light over there of that color specifically that color not other colors like i uh, want to make the green uh, like more um, prominent actually lighten that means you can work with that only color so it will affect only that color no other color over there so you are getting here the 50 aqua and the blue minus 8 that's good and go to the split toning this one is another important portion for the photo editing in a highlight color what will be the highlight color and what will be the shadow color it defines with the split toning that means split means divided divided by two things that is the highlight and the shadow so if I give color in a highlight portion, it will be like a new color eyes and the balance you can balance over there and shadow what will be the color in a shadow portion that is important for the photo editing. And now hue saturation as usual hue for the color belt and uh, you can add value for the color 51 in my case and saturation percentage of the color that is 23% and the balance that is 19 and the hue of the shadow that means shadow portion what color i'll add over there two to one is the color code and the saturation one eight that is good and then uh, no optics no geometry in a effect portion i added some vignetting that is minus 11 that's good and the calibration so here i didn't touch other primary color except the blue primary color here the blue primary color i made the hue that is 26 and the saturation zero that's good and now hit the ok button and it will just give you instant solution or instant color boost up or color changes in your like photography and uh, if you want to change uh, like uh, colors or other steps you can change by the help of that uh, camera or filter one thing is that i'm using camera or filter updated version that is 12.3 you can use that uh, things or uh, that version if you want to get the version download link in my video description given below here i'm going to the levels option for the adjusting lights and other steps if you need it actually i need this type of things and in future if you want to add another colors or other steps you can go to the color lookup from here here is the color lookup uh, portion you can use another color from here like uh, foggy nights but i'll decrease the opacity only 12 percent you'll get another things which is very helpful to you uh, hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the plugins and, uh, and like uh, the preset please check out my video it's free and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon this one is also free so see you next time today signing out and stay safe stay at home and bye bye